Okay, now let's try to create uh, something with serum. I will try to make like like a kind of uh, hook sound, hook sin uh, hook bass sound. This time I will go pretty creative. I mean pretty. I don't know how much. See, but uh, yeah, I will try to do my best. I will use serum here. I will do something a bit similar to this, but with like different uh, wave tables. I will of course starting with a with a um, with a sawtooth wave, but then probably on the second oscillator I will use something else. And um, yeah, let's do it. So I, I'll start. I'll, I'll start just writing a kind of rhythmical pattern. I don't mind if maybe that it's not perfect at the beginning. Really, like I, I would like to you you guys to understand it to not get frustrated while producing like it's always a slow process but important is to get like pattern right and the beginning and then <clears throat> you can always like change things and uh, don't that is not a problem so i'll create like a little pattern we'll do something pretty simple now i'm up ma i'm mapping like the envelope second to the filter so i can create some modulation here in uh, in serum this is you can choose between bipolar mode and one pole mode i, I always like to use like this one because i don't need to go backwards in this case so let's mute this So this is our amazing pattern, we love it, don't you? Also here, for the same reason I said before, like now I'm doing this sound, it sounds like shit, it's obvious. And, uh, and I could be like the first one, okay, this sounds like shit, I do a new sound. No. Let's put some effort first, then th this will make you be more engaged with your own production. You will have a bit more fun. Okay, now that uh, not now that I did this, and it's not the best sound ever, of course. Um, like we, what I tend to do, I try already like to understand like the ranges of the macros that I will use. And what I normally do, I already try to like map already something to make this to turn into something that has some life. And when sounds start to have some life and they're not static, they start start to sound as well nice. Then of course I will open the second oscillator, use some wave tables and uh, maybe some other effect. And let's see where we go. Maybe the result is not the best, but let's see. We try. And this is our job. It's a matter of trial and error. 
and uh, yeah. So for example, now I put Decay really, really short, and I am assuming that this will be like the shortest decay that I will use inside this track. Now I want to map, for example, this decay with the macro here, and I will, and I will now try to. So this is, will be. This will be like the shortest. <coughs> In the shortest I would use, I would, and I would like to define what will be also the the longer note. How how long will be the 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 decay time when the bass will be long? So, so I put the macro on top. So it means that now I'm playing like I don't know how many, probably seconds here. But so I put the like the modulation a bit down, and I find. And I try and I try to find more or less what will be the, the like the correct spot for me. In the meantime, with this field, with this macro, I would like to also to open the filter a little bit. I also here I want to define what would be the longest. So now since like the decay is controlling this, so the more I open the decay, the more the filter will be open. So in this case, I'm uh, when I open the macro, I would like to do a little bit the opposite. Since the cutoff will open uh, kind of automatically, I will make a bit the the cutoff shorter to to yeah, let's say to um, yeah to control a bit the the filtering. correct myself and never mind about what I just said but I repeat uh, so yeah let's find uh, like uh, some nice mm, I don't know uh, spectral some nice wave table I don't know I just should try to Okay, this this sounds nice. We can also like for example map this into this. We can for example create a little bit more Movement here, like just placing, for example, an LFO so that it will basically modulate this. So every time you have a slightly different hit. Great. And um, what else? Ah, let's mm, let's add some. Since we have uh, like another envelope, or I can use, of course, I don't know if you guys you guys know that, like in Serum, you have like okay three envelopes, uh, here, like available, but 
also you can uh, you can use like LFO as an as an envelope. In this case, uh, yeah, let's let's use the LFO so I can show you this. And um, and yeah, in this case, I would like to do like a pitch envelope just to have like a little bit of let's say of, uh, of uh, how you call it in English, smack like uh, some some power. I don't know how to call it. So I will map the LFO to the LFO two. In this case, is an is a just a normal envelope to the master tune. Here is sounding like shit because it's just like bipolar mode. Let's put it in polar one pole. So what I tend to do, like uh, I try to make some kind of, let's call it random. It's not random. I always think about what I'm doing, but I encourage you to do sometimes, like to to do things that you would never do before, or just test things. Uh, so like it's very important to give movement to sound, to give some some life. For the reason I said before, like to to try to avoid the like to have that static sound. Let's put some honeys and let's see how it sounds like. So it's a bit more, I don't know if you're using the headphones, it's getting some. Some stereo image and it's starting to be a bit more fun. So this is We have something like this simple, it can be better, but the final result is what is important, not the single sound. We want to create more sound, more, we want to put more things together and uh, not necessarily like you have to do the best sound ever to make a good track. <laughs> 